wanted to uh, claim another kind of victory on uh, the whole front of, oh, looks like I was right about that. So, so just as how I ended up, you know, how I called before there was like a big exposure of Hassan Piker. I'm like, he's a rich foreigner. You, you see this Cenk Uyghur and Hassan Piker are, are rich Middle Easterners, you know, and, and people like that often, like, will have rich foreigners who are into socialism. They, they, they just, there's just a certain thing about them. Um, and they, they're always kind of phony, but they want to be down. Um, and so they, they kind of have this way they front like they're, they're like some down nibbas. In some way they front. But it's that they're they're never really down because they're not they're not American. They're not from here. They don't understand us. Um, they they can't deal with honor culture. They can't deal with our form of honor culture and our forms of honor culture. Um, I'm gonna get back to that. Um, it, it, in fact, one of the things I kind of want to. I wanted to make sure to bring up was the whole thing with this guy, uh, the streamer Johnny Somali, is that uh, it, there, he's starting to, to find, oh, I'm dealing with an honor culture. Like, with, with Japan, there's, there, there, like, unfortunately, there's been socializing of generations that's made the Japanese very much a group that that are are like way too polite you know they're they're and now they're starting to learn now there there's too many of them that are too creative too talented too successful at being creative and talented that they're like oh you want me to do this because people who are untalented and not very creative uh have kind of a problem with the way that um you know, I drew something. So, the uh, yeah. So, so they now they're they're kind of getting their their uh, strength up to you know they're they're starting to speak with their chest more and more and more of like okay you know fuck you you know you, you if if you want to make this cartoon this manga the way you want make it the way you want and now even to the point that the UN has been doing something about it, which really shows, just like all of this with the artiste class, now everything I said has been proven. This is just rich people who think that they are supposed to inherit sort of a tradition of, you know, like, yeah, that, that liberal artists that went to art school are now starting to show, but I went to art school and I'm middle class. I should just be employed by a very big deal studio. And more and more, they're starting to show that they, they really think like this, that, that enough of them do. That now, uh, people looking into fail guard have started to find out, oh, this consultation company is aligned with a financing company. So you have to hire these consultants or you don't get financed by this financier specific to the video game world, the Powell Group. I'm, I'm betting that there's either other, other financiers like this or this is, if you look enough, you're going to start realizing like, oh, okay, this financier steps in when these political advocates are on the blah, blah, blah. Oh, and this financier steps in when these people are on some blah, blah, blah shit. So, uh, I'm just, so I'm thinking that we're going to find out that these are all people that in some way, shape, or form have associations, just they have middle class associations. You know, they're, they're, uh, they went to similar schools, things like that. So it's, it's, it's that kind of, it's class nepotism. Um, and it's, it's class nepotism hidden as LGBTQ 
uh, uh, activism. It's just a bunch of rich kids who suck. And they, uh, <laughs> they just, <laughs> they, the wealthy, middle class, college educated kids who fucking suck. And so now they can't make it and they design all this stuff that people are like, wow, that, that's, that's shit. You know, like any a hit maker would know, wow, what you just designed there is shit. You know, like these, the, 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 the fail guard is amazingly shitty looking. Like, it's, it's sort of astonishing how shitty it is. It almost looks like, to me, when I look at it, I am thinking, wait a second, these are the kind of outfits from Monster Hunter. So it, it loosely has a Monster Hunter look to it, except worse. And then there was the, the audio, and then there was the dialogue that leaked. Was, that was terrible. That was absolutely awful. And then the push-ups for, I mean, all of it. Just, it was, it's, and so now it's becoming, so now the thing is, is homosexuals and um, homosexual men that put on dresses, this, this weird middle class ennui that you all have, well, now you're a joke. Now people laugh at your failure. Like, when you fail... The entire internet's like, yes, yes, you know, I mean, so it's just, wh what did you accomplish? <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, by the way, one of my favorite stores, Eugene Coin Jewelry, highly recommend. They're, they're very, they do very good business. They are very, very good. Really, yeah, actually, let me show you. But I got there. My little bezel that holds an onza. Now this uh, this it doesn't have an onza in it, but it has a uh, a uh, silver uh, silver bullet uh, coin in it. Thank you, Chris Twain. Uh, alluding to that last video, um, yeah, you know Chris Twain. And so there's something that a lot of you don't know. Oh my gosh, Chris Twain and the reintroduction of the Trivium and Septivium. And those of you who, like, you you remember this, you know what a big deal that was. Logic, grammar, rhetoric. And that changed it for a lot of, a lot of people. They were, they, they realized uh, through Chris Duane's work, they're like, yeah, I was not taught logic. I, my, my grammar was not really well honed. Um, my rhetorical abilities are not what I wish them to be, so I must look at my ability to be logical and how, how good is my grammar. So, as I can't get my ideas across. So, I, you know, this was just something I was, uh, a lot of stuff's going through my mind today. But one of the key things I was thinking about with uh, Somali, Johnny Smalley found um, that, oh, yes, the, the Koreans are known to be kind of the extremely passionate group of kind of, of, of East Asia. Like, uh, often people who watch anime will uh, wait, wait, wait. sometimes get it, but a lot of times people don't get that there's a, there will be a character who's obviously supposed to be something more like possibly a Korean or an Okinawan or a Mongolian or something like that and that such people are, are considered like really wild and really passionate and uh, and and that's like and so so you end up with this really powerful honor culture and anyone who grew up around Koreans you know you just don't insult those people like you you have to be ready you have to be ready like <laughs> they will they, they'll fight you uh, and, um, Korean dudes are are real polite but if you say the wrong stuff, they, 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 don't, they don't take that shit, you know, and, uh, and, and yeah. And so it's, it, it, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm finding it interesting, the Johnny Somali situation, that I'm like, okay, he apparently doesn't really know much about these people, you know, in a close way. Um, yeah, which, so it's like, but, so now he's finding out, now he's finding out. That's honor culture. 
insult their honor, and be prepared for the results. Um, and Somali showing himself to be a very dishonorable person. Um, so now the next thing was um, there's it, this this whole thing of the okay. So I was watching this anime. Don't I don't know where it even popped up from. It appears to be of Chinese manufacture and um, and writing, like completely of Chinese creation. Um, Song of the Swordsman. That from what I know so far. And this really means that, like, if, if China has figured out how to take the reins off of their nationalist thinking um, artists, they, it's, it's a new... Jet Li's back. We're back, boys. Kung Fu is way, way, way back. Um, and, but we'll see. We'll see. because And, and it looks like it's even beyond anything we can imagine it looks like that somebody in china has f- figured it out what you need to do is invest in the animation end and the computer animation end because all the rest of it actors you know n- actors suck thespians are garbage you know it's they just they suck and that's what it's coming down to now animation and and computer animation is the future of entertainment um and and it's been but we keep we keep having to have these these worthless thespian weirdos like acting like they're some kind of you know like oh how would you know things and feel things without us you know and um and and it's just not panning out anymore when it comes to the money losing 200 billion 300 billion um all that kind of business it's like it just it just doesn't it's not panning out anymore um, and then I wanted to touch on that, the cultural piece. So for how much creating things has become a part of this kind of culture war. And I've been thinking about it like this. Everybody's making pottery and hurling it at each other in this culture war. So there's going to have to be a cultural piece at some point. And the cultural piece is, it's, it's like... For, for how wild the streets were when Wu-Tang was out, they were wilder before Wu-Tang was out. It was the peacetime. You know, Cam, all oh, what's up, damn, this shit is like a dream. For the first time, everybody's on the same team. It was, it was a, a m- more peaceful time. You know, the older guys, who were older than me, they were killing each other like and beating each other up like it was in, like going out of style. Suddenly boys only three years younger than me four years younger than me were wearing were dripping in Tommy Hilfiger everywhere all kinds of flashy you know those early phones with all the flashing stuff on them and Netsuke and stuff I we couldn't have stuff like that when I was younger um, because it would get stolen by the older people by the older kids so a cultural piece is so things are going to have to be created for enjoyment and so one of the things that made me really think about this was Glenn Beck chimed in about video games I'm like don't ruin it bro (laughs) it's just it's like it's one of those moments where it's like Glenn you're winning don't mess it up bro and um, it, it just him and the video game stuff and him like, you know, Matt Walsh did it too, where it was like oh, video games and anime and blah 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 and all this stuff and it's like, okay, nobody likes thespians. Why? Because they're not believable. They're not good at what they do. You guys who are in, you have wives, you have kids, so you think acting in musicals and stuff like that is real great. And, and we're not trying to, you know, you, you have to. You're married. You, you have to act like, like, what a great movie this was. Oh, this actor is so great. I really like the, the music part of it. You know, I love when they were all singing that one song. <laughs> a lot of us, 
we don't have kids that are sitting there singing Disney tunes in the back of the car, you know. Um, so we're on the forefront of what's cool. And I, it doesn't matter that you want to think different. You know that's true. The boys decide what's cool. Um, the girls come along because the, they want to be where the boys are. And, you know, people who, who to, to a great extent, it's you need the DJ. The DJ's usually a boy. That's how it works. You need the band. The band, the, the bouncer, the bar. It's run by the boys. That's, that's what happens. And the girls show up because that's where the boys are. Um, you know, like... Women were notoriously not drinkers and not cigarette smokers. It took great effort to bring them to where the boys are on that. This, this speaks volumes about the modern era norms of behavior and, what, and, and also American history and norms of behavior of men and women and how this comes and goes. Um, and really, this has happened. Things kind of like this have happened before. Um, so the cultural piece is, is going to be that, you know, at some point people are going to sit and try to write books or going to try to write comics or going to try to make art and they're going to have to sell it and, and, you know, and, and, and people are going to want to enjoy it. And that's the cultural piece when, when you can sit and not think about how crazy things are. And, you know, you could watch a movie with the family. That's the cultural piece. So for all of this stuff with the creativity and the culture war, at some point, the, the, the cultural piece is going to have to be established by one of the two sides of politics. And the Democrats have failed. They have failed at this. They, they rely on thespians. And so... Because they rely on thespians and because they want black guys to wear dresses, they will continue to fail. One of the things that um, I learned a lot about um, with liberal, that liberal kind of artsy fart culture, they, I mean, they really think like Little Nas X is where everything, that, that's what it's all about all the time. Just like there's a handful of black artists that you hear about from, um, the, the, the 50s through the 80s, um, there's only so many, you know, of these men you really hear about. That's why I clear, collect rare soul music, rare mod music, rare. And it's because then you get to hear why, why the hell did Rod Stewart ever get popular? Because Rod Stewart was, an, was a mod act. He was, he was basically what they called in America blue-eyed soul. There was a large number of acts like this. Um, it wasn't just covers that like, oh, I covered it because we don't sell that. No. You, 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 you did a song that everybody knew and knew well because it was a big hit. And, and so you were showing your chops because everyone knew the song and loved it. Um, so it's, it's really that kind of thing. Like, that you really have this uh, period of time that a lot of a lot of media and a lot of entertainment people they want you to forget what was cool. They want you to forget what the boys liked. They want you to it, it, it's you're supposed to just forget it, and you're supposed to think that what what it's all about now is fail guard. And then it comes down to this. Okay, Rod Stewart and his band. Laurel Aitken, to this day, he's the fedora guy. He's like the guy who he has this, he, I mean, he's the quintessential man wearing a fedora. Um, you know, it, 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 the fail guard people look like shit. Trannies look like shit. Okay, big, white, weird tranny guys look like shit. And you guys are going to just have to face that. Rod Stewart looked great. That, that's it. I mean, it's, you know, there's a difference. You know, the, the animals, the animals looked great. You guys designed these video games. We see vi it, 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 the, who you are and you look awful. And, and that, that there's no getting around that. Rod Stewart looked great. Laurel Aitken looked great. 
<laughs> um, the Scottalites looked great, you know, it's, um, you know, I mean, even, I mean, even Johnny Rotten back in the day, like, Johnny Rotten looked, they looked great when they started. You can't look like shit and try to take over popular stuff. It's just, you can't. It, 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 there's, you have to be incredible. Like, you have to be incredibly talented to, to do that. Um, and it's just, it's not there. <laughs> it's just not there. You know, that's why, like, popular music is, is kind of a young man's thing and remains a young man's thing unless... You know, you're somebody like, like Vince Guaraldi, who, who maintains popularity for like a whole generation, you know, and um, that, that's rare. So a lot of, a lot of people just got to start accepting, like, no, you guys look terrible. Like, they, we saw the fail guard people and that weird blue haired oddball. And I mean, that, that, that's like nightmare fuel. And so then it started to become more and more clear that that's actually what it's about. You guys are just making these video games that are nightmare fuel and you're middle class rich kids who, wow, look at that. That's nice. Oh, that was beautiful. The yellow, the yellow trim, yellow brake pad. That was, that was nice. That was nice. Um, I, I really appreciate that kind of, that kind of, you know, the, the, the little details. It's the little things that count. Um, yeah. And so, um, I, I, yeah, and, and I, I don't want to hawk on this like, oh, you know, you guys, you're so, you know, weird and gross and ugly and blah, blah, blah. And that's why, when you know, what you made is really bad looking. And then when we see you, we're like, oh, my, oh, my God. Like, what, what is what what is that you know that, that i mean you know you're you're uh, yeah <laughs> andy warhol looked great when he was a big deal and he wasn't shit and so it was, that's you got it that's how it works that's how it works um yeah and and i know a lot of you are going to be like andy why yeah no i i'm sorry i'm not modern art i'm one of these people modern art Modern art, uh-uh, no. Art Nouveau, that I can, that I can deal with. I can deal with Art Nouveau. Modern art, no. Bad News Bears. All right, I got, uh, got to mess around, so I'll talk to you guys later.